everybody. Welcome to Steam Thursday Craft Day. We are going to be making a Valentine's card holder. As you can see, I've got, or picture holder, I've got my adorable little hero with the computer in there, clipped in. And this makes a great gift for parents, grandparents, teachers. It's a really cute little wooden holder that you paint yourself and decorate yourself. You can use markers, other colors of paint. I'm giving you some paint to use on this and some stickers and some paper. You can decorate it with lace, whatever you have around the house that you want to make it look special for a gift. So follow me, we're going to make one. All right, perfect. Okay, so if you picked up your kit from the library, you should have a wooden picture holder on a spring, some paint, three colors, a brush, some paper and a sticker. I'm gonna put that all aside. You will probably need from your own house a pencil, some scissors, some glue. I also have water and a paper towel for cleaning my brush, um, and newspaper to work on. Now, if you're going to mix the colors, I'm gonna mix mine right on the paper, but you could also get a paper plate and mix your colors on the paper plate. And make sure you wear clothes that um, are for outdoor time, play time, <laughs> clothes that can get paint on them. Um, and uh, nobody's gonna get mad about it. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna start with is painting. Now you'll notice that I gave you three colors, no purple. But what we can do is we can mix blue and red to make purple. We can mix white and red to make pink. And then we can mix all of them together to make various shades of purple, okay? So let's begin. I don't know what colors I'm gonna try yet. Let's see. I'm gonna open up the blue and the red. And I'm going to mix a little bit of both right here on my newspaper. I can, I can probably just go right in there and do that. Okay, so then I'm gonna mix a little blue in with the red, make purple. So that's if you wanna use purple. You can just use plain old red, you could use plain old blue, white, mix it in together. base purple. <laughs> it's fun how the heart just wobbles back and forth. It's pretty silly. And now this would make a nice, uh, nice gift for Valentine's Day. For Parent, grandparent, aunt or uncle, even a teacher might like something like this. Okay, I'm happy with the base being purple. I'm going to rinse my brush and dry my brush off. Oops, leave it in there. Ooh, very stubborn. All right, I think I'm done with the blue for now. Let's go to, let's go to some red. Let's just do red first. And I'm gonna do the base part here, red. So now I'm going to use the brush again. Draw it on my paper. 
There's time. And get some white on there. And a little bit of red. And we're going to do pink. We're going to do pink for the, the heart. I like pink. Okay. See, I'm going up and down. It's a little bit easier because that's the way the wood grain is. You know, it's like the, the the very small lines in the wood going up and down, so it's easier to paint with that grain to go in the direction that the wood wants you to go. Let's go on this side now. I'm gonna do both sides because it's front and back. It's a really pretty color. I really like that. Right, and if you notice, I got a little bit of like speckles on the bottom here. I'm just gonna go in there with this left my purple over here. And blend that all in. water. And it's kind of coming out more of a pinky color because my brush was a little bit pink, but still purple's coming through. So I like it. I'm happy. red, pink. All my Valentine's colors. All right, I'm going to let that dry. In the meantime, I'm going to show you over here what we're going to do with this paper. So I gave you all a nice paper, um, nice black and white polka dots, and I fold it in half. And you, can use, you can do this with small paper or big paper. Um, I'm going to just do a small section because what I want to do is, and actually I'll turn, I'll turn it this way so you don't ever see the lines that I drew. But you see how I have that fold? The paper is folded right here. That's the fold. This is where it opens. This is the fold. Along that fold, I'm going to draw half of a number two. Maybe, you know, I'm going to come in a little bit more. I'm going to go in like that and right into the corner. This is how you make a heart. So you see how I, how I want that to right to the corner? You can ignore this part. And then I'm gonna cut it out with the paper still folded. And I'm gonna go to the corner there on the paper. And I have a heart, a really cute little heart. I'm gonna try again on this side. I'm gonna make it a little rounder this time. Half of a number two right down into the corner like that. I'm gonna cut that out. And this 
is just a fun way to make a heart. You can fold a piece of paper and half of a number two. Oh, I like that one better. It's a little bit rounder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to decorate my heart. I'm going to put some glue on the back. This is almost dry. You should wait till yours is all the way dry. But put some glue on the back. Right in the middle of the heart. And it's okay if you get a little glue on the outside because that will dry clear. So it looks like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my sticker. You can do the sticker on the other side if you like. Or you can do the sticker in the middle. And that looks pretty too. I think I'm going to do it on the other side. Depending on what color you've painted it and what color sticker you have. You might want to put a little bit of glue on the back in case it doesn't stick very well. You could do your sticker there. Or you could do another heart like that one. And that's it. And then you can put a picture in there. I'll just put my other heart in there for now to show you. All right. And then we are all done. And that's a perfect gift for Valentine's Day. I will see you soon. Happy Valentine's Day.